Welcome to the SAM4 Video Installation Guide. We're going to show you how to install and connect the SAM4 hardware. If you'd like extra details on any step, be sure to consult our PDF installation manual or our online installation tutorial. Before you start installing, please prepare the following success factors. First, ensure that any necessary permits have been approved prior to the intended installation date. Second, make sure that the motor control cabinet can be de-energized during installation. Third, make sure you have planned sufficient time for installation. Installation should take between 60 to 90 minutes per asset. However, please make sure to add in a buffer for unforeseen circumstances. Lastly, ensure the ongoing availability of a network connection or sufficient mobile signal strength. The SAM4 hardware consists of multiple components. For every motor, you will receive a motor kit. Inside the motor kit are the following components. One data acquisition device, or DAQ, three current sensors, three fused terminal blocks, and one ethernet cable. To send the incoming data from multiple motors to the cloud, you'll receive a connectivity kit. SAM4 uses these four connectivity components, a power supply, a switch, a gateway, and optionally, magnetic antennas. You will receive the number and type of these components that is required for your motor setup. To successfully install the SAM4 hardware, you'll need additional materials and tools. The complete list of materials and tools you'll need can be found in the online installation guide. Please note that these extra materials are not included with the SAM4 hardware. The SAM4 hardware is simple to install. First, you'll de-energize the motor control cabinet and set up the connectivity kit. Next, you'll set up the motor kit and power up the system. And last, you will commission the installation with your Symotics contact person. The first step is to mount the connectivity kit on the wall. If preferred, you can place the components on an existing DIN rail. If you are installing the individual components, connect an ethernet cable between the switch and the gateway. Make sure that the ethernet cable is plugged into port one on the gateway. The cables provided with SAM4's hardware are one half and one quarter meters. If you use your own ethernet cables, make sure that they meet these minimum requirements, S forward slash FTP and CAT6 or higher. The system is powered via a power supply unit. To connect the power supply to the switch and the gateway, use 1.5 millimeter squared electrical cable. Follow the illustration to correctly insert the wires into the connectors. Next, plug the connectors into the gateway and the switch. Don't connect the power supply unit to the main supply yet. We'll do that in later steps. To connect the gateway to the internet, you have three options. A mobile connection, a local ethernet network, or a local Wi-Fi network. To connect the gateway using 4G, connect the two antennas to the 4G ports. When you power up the system in later steps, the gateway will automatically connect to an available mobile network. To connect using Ethernet or Wi-Fi, plug an Ethernet cable into port 2 on the gateway or connect one antenna to the Wi-Fi port. Place the antennas in the area with the best Wi-Fi signal. After you finish installing SAM4, you'll need to configure your local network using the SAM4 network tool. We'll return to that at the end of the video. First, you'll place the data acquisition device on a DIN rail. Next, connect an ethernet cable between the data acquisition device and the switch. If you'll be connecting multiple DAQs to a switch, space constraints might require you to place only the data acquisition devices inside the motor control cabinet and feed longer ethernet cables to a centralized spot in the room where the switch, gateway, and power supply unit are placed. To set up the current measurements, install the current clamp around the correct phase wire. When connecting the sensors to the phase wire, make sure that the arrow shown on the clamp points toward the motor, and make sure that the clamp is properly closed. If your sensor does not show an arrow, make sure that the text on the sensor faces toward the power source. Make sure to double check that each clamp is connected to the right phase. The next step is to install SAM4's voltage sensors. The voltage can be branched off from the variable frequency drive or an existing terminal block. This tutorial shows the first option. First, install three fused terminal blocks on the DIN rail. Make sure to place the blocks at least two centimeters away from the data acquisition device to ensure electromagnetic compatibility. Next, 
branch off the voltage and connect the wires to the terminal blocks using a screwdriver to open the connector. Next, connect a second set of wires to the fused terminal block's other connector. Insert the other end of these wires into the correct phase port on the DAQ. The next section explains how to install the current sensors if you receive them separately. The sensor type depends on the amperage of the motor and the diameter of the phase wires. Make sure that you select the right sensors for each motor from the hardware you've received. Consult your SAM4 sensor overview list to double check. First, connect the current clamp to the cable set. Make sure that the cable set matches the clamp type. Next, plug the connector on the cable set into the data acquisition device. Next, install the current clamp around the correct phase wire. Make sure that the arrow shown on the clamp points toward the motor and make sure that the clamp is properly closed. If your clamp doesn't have an arrow, make sure that the text on the clamp faces toward the power source. Double check that each clamp is connected to the right phase. Take into account that the data acquisition device needs to stay within three meters of the sensors that you will place on the phase wires of the motor. Before powering up the system, double check that the ethernet cables are correctly plugged into the devices. All current clamps are properly closed and the voltage wires are correctly connected. To power up the system, connect the power supply to the main supply. After you power up the system, the LED shown here should light up. If your setup shows no or different LEDs, you can follow the link shown on the screen. Click next at the bottom of the page for detailed help on each component. Once the LEDs are correct, you can configure your local network using SAM4's network tool. You can find detailed instructions via the link shown on the screen. You may need to whitelist some URLs and ports in your firewall. Please reach out to your Semotics contact person for help. Congratulations! You've successfully installed the SAM4 hardware. To commission the installation, you can connect the DAQ to the Semotics platform through the onboarding portal via the link on the screen. Here, you'll find more instructions. The serial number can be found below the QR code on the DAQ. Either copy it by hand if you are accessing the portal via your laptop, or simply scan the QR code if you are on a mobile device. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you'd like extra help, our online tutorial contains much more detail on every part of the installation process. Please visit the link shown on the screen or reach out to your Semotics contact person.